Hi, uh, I'm Mirren, and I just watched Dune, directed by Denis Villeneuve, starring Timothy Chalamet, Zendaya, Rebecca Ferguson, Oscar Isaac, Jason Momoa, Stellan Skarsgård, uh, Javier Bardem, Josh Brolin, and many other incredibly talented actors. And here's what I think about it. Dune is an incredibly... Um, it's, it's a big deal. <laughs> Dune is a movie that is on the bleeding edge, personally, I think. On the bleeding edge of what is possible in cinema. I think Denis Villeneuve is one of the greatest, is the greatest filmmaker on the planet right now. And is truly pushing the boundaries of what is possible in film. And filmmaking as a storytelling medium. And it's incredibly exciting. And that is why I think, personally, for me, this movie is a 10 out of 10. But, I think you could also very easily convince me that it's a 0. And here's why. So, Dune the book, I'm, I'm not like a Dune expert. I've, I actually, I haven't read the whole thing. I've read the first 170 pages. I've watched a lot of essays on it, and I've, I've discussed a lot with my friends. So, you're totally allowed to not care about anything I have to say about it. Um, but, Dune, to me is an incredibly bloated and convoluted story. And, and that's not in, not in a bad way. It's 900 pages long, and every chapter begins with a, a excerpt from a lore bible that's, like, set in the future that you haven't seen, and there's no, like, nowhere easily to read it. There's a dictionary in the back of all the terms. It's telling, like, a very s simple theme of, like, environmentalism and, and heritage and expectations, but, like, through this incredibly detailed and massive blown-up lens. Um, and I think that's what makes it so impressive, is just the true scale and, and glory of what it is telling. And Denis Villeneuve as a filmmaker has always been someone... Dune is, is a story that is told more, I think, in the literature and the, the art of the writing and less in, like, what is going on on screen. Denis Villeneuve... I think as a filmmaker, has a similar voice. He is, um, um, I, I think I had an English teacher once who said something along the lines of, like, he's not, he's not telling stories so much as he is making art. And I understand what he meant more. Where he, now, where he's a filmmaker who has always been willing to put the art and the themes and the meaning of his stories and his storytelling in front of the, 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 front-facing end of it. Um, Prisoners, I think, is a great example of that because that is a very, um, like, emotional, immediate story. It's about a, a, losing your child and, and trying to find it. But it ends in this very cryptic and not necessarily satisfying way with, like, a big essay on, like, God and, and, and this totally pseudo-unrelated thing. Um, and that's who he is, 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 and that's why he's so great is because he's willing to, while still make his stories incredibly, and his films incredibly emotionally engaging, put the filmmaking and the art and the themes of it first. And that, combined with the source material of Dune, is what makes Dune an interesting and difficult to write movie. Because it's like zucchini-flavored ice cream, where zucchini is really good for you, but it doesn't taste super good. It's not fun to eat. I hate zucchini. And zucchini flavored ice cream as like the adaptation of Dune, even if that ice cream is the most immaculate, most perfect, incredibly crafted ice cream with the most advanced quality and techniques you could ever think of, if you don't like zucchini, it's garbage ice cream. Um, Dune is a, is a movie that is telling an incredible story in incredible ways. But it is totally putting, it's telling its story more in film language and in literature more than what you're seeing on the screen. It is a film that is not interested in making you totally understand what's going on and, and totally fluent, being telling its story in the same language that, that you are fluent in. Um, there are a lot of scenes where there's a lot happening, but it's all happening not in front of your eyes it's in like the the symbolism of the characters and such and that's kind of what every story is but this is like the extreme of that and i think 
that that is, I think it's awesome. I think I was willing to totally like really think and, and overdo the way I interpret this movie. Um, and I was blown away. Every frame I thought was amazing. I think it's one of the best looking and the best sounding movies ever made or, or the best. It's an incredible visual presentation. I saw an IMAX and I totally recommend that. And I was enthralled the whole way, the whole way through. And I'm so excited for the second part. But you are totally 100% justified in watching it in its, in its whole two and a half hour runtime and walking into the theater and saying, that was boring. I didn't like that. I think that's a lot. Because ultimately, it is. It does not succeed in making itself immediately accessible to everyone. Um, and those people are, are not, you're not at fault. Like, move, I think people who say like, oh, well, you're just not smart enough to enjoy my movie. That's stupid. No one is, is smart or not smart. Everyone, like, when it comes to, to enjoying art, it's subjective. And if you didn't enjoy it and you thought it was bad, that's true. Uh, and your reasons for it ca cannot be negated by like, oh, well, you just didn't get it. But this is a movie that operates at a very specific frequency. And if you do not want to meet it at that frequency, you're not going to enjoy it. Um, and I think that's allowed and that's fine. Uh, so if you saw Dune and you were disappointed, that's fine. But I thought it was amazing. I think it's one of the best things ever and one of the best films of this generation i love it uh so for me it's a 10 out of 10 but for not everyone's gonna love it and that's fine and i hope this doesn't sound annoying <laughs> all right uh see you next time